hostages. Focus past the Herald. Let her will draw from you. Solus confirms the heavens are scarred by the calm. The breach is sealed. We've reports of lingering rifts, and many questions remain. But this was a victory. Word of your heroism has spread. You know how many were involved. Luck put me at the center. A strange kind of luck. I'm not sure if we need more or less. But you're right. This was a victory of Alliance. One of the few in recent memory. With the breach closed, that alliance will need new focus. Forces approaching! To arms! What the... We must get to the gates! Cullen? One watchguard reporting. There's a massive force, the bulk over the mountain. Under what banner? None. None? I can't come in unless you open. I'm Cole. I came to warn you, to help. People are coming to hurt you. You probably already know. What is this? What's going on? The Templars come to kill you. Templars? Is this the Order's response to our talks with the Mages, attacking blindly? The Red Templars went to the Elder One. You know him? He knows you. You took his Mages. There. angry that you took his mages. Cullen, give me a plan. Anything. Haven is no fortress. If we are to withstand this monster, we must control the battle. Get out there and hit that force. Use everything you can. Mages! You! You have sanctioned to engage them. That is Samson. He will not make it easy. Inquisition! With the Herald! For your life! For all of us!
to the Chantry. It's the only building that might hold against that beast. At this point, just make them work for it. Move! Keep going! The Chantry is your shelter! He tried to stop a Templar. The blade went deep. He's going to die. What a charming boy! Harold, our position is not good. That dragon stole back any time you might have earned us. I've seen an archdemon. I was in the Fade, but it looked like that. I don't care what it looks like. It's got a path for that army. They'll kill everyone in Haven. The Elder One doesn't care about the village. He only wants the Herald. If you know why he wants me, just say it. I don't. He's too loud. It hurts to hear him. He wants to kill you. No one else matters, but he'll crush them. Kill them anyway. I don't like him. You don't like... <sighs> Harold, there are no tactics to make this survivable. The only thing that slowed them was the avalanche. We could turn the remaining trebuchets, cause one last slide. We're overrun. To hit the enemy, we'd bury Haven. We're dying, but we can decide how. Many don't get that choice. Yes, that. Chancellor Roderick can help. He wants to say it before he dies. There is a path. You wouldn't know it unless you'd made the summer pilgrimage, as I have. The people can escape. She must have shown me. Andraste must have shown me so I could t tell you. What are you on about, Roderick? It was whim that I walked the path. I did not mean to start. It was overgrown. Now, with so many in the Conclave dead, to be the only one who remembers... I don't know, Harold. If this simple memory can save us, this could be more than mere accident. You could be more. What about it, Cullen? Will it work? Possibly, if he shows us the path. But what of your escape? Perhaps you will surprise it, find a way. Inquisition, follow Chancellor Roderick through the Chantry. Move! Herald, if you are meant for this, if the Inquisition is meant for this, I pray for you. They'll load the trebuchets. Keep the Elder One's attention until we're above the tree line. If we are to have a chance, if you are to have a chance, let that thing hear you. Move! Now! Is beyond your ken, no more. Whatever you are, I'm not afraid. Words mortals often hurl at the darkness. Once they were mine, they are always lies. Know me, know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. 
the will that is Carithias. You will kneel. You'll... you'll get nothing out of me! You will resist. You will always resist. It matters not. I am here to anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Herald. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, you stole its purpose. I do not know how you survived, but what marks you was touched, what you flail at rifts, I crafted to assault the very heavens. the anchor to undo my work. The gore. Why did the Divine die? For this chaos? The chaos will empower me and ensure we no longer beg at the feet of the invisible. I once breached the Fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own, to champion Wither to Winter and correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods and it was empty. The anchor is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. So be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and God it requires. I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must die. You expect me to fight, but that's not why I kept you talking. Enjoy your victory. Here's your prize! <laughs>
imprisoned? Thank the Maker! What would you have me tell them? This isn't what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow. And with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are. Which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature. Only his effect on us. If they're arguing about what we do next, I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help. Even yours. Perhaps especially yours. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen her return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure? What we, perhaps, must come to believe? I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course. And the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? You saw Corypheus. What do you think of his claims of assaulting the heavens? Scripture says magisters, to winter servants of false old gods, entered the Fade to reach the Golden City, seat of the Maker. For their crime, they were cast out as Darkspawn. Their hubis is why we suffer blight, and why the Maker turned from us. If such is the claim of this Corypheus, he is a monster beyond imagining. All mankind continues to suffer for that sin. If even a shred of it is true, all the more reason Andraste would choose someone to rise against him. Corypheus said he found only corruption and emptiness, nothing golden. If he entered that place, it has changed him without and within. The living are not meant to make that journey. Perhaps these are lies he must tell himself, rather than accept that he earned the scorn of the Maker. I know I could not bear such. Perhaps I was meant for this, but that didn't help at Haven. I want to believe Andraste is with me, but doubt is everywhere. Shadows fall and 
and hope has fled Still your heart, the dawn will come The night is long and the path is dark Look to the sky for one day soon The dawn will come the shepherd's lost, and his home is far. Keep to the stars, the dawn will come. The night is long, and the path is dark. Look to the sky. is made stronger by facing doubt. Untested, it is nothing. A word. The humans have not raised one of our people so high for ages beyond counting. The faith is hard won, Letheline, worthy of pride, save one detail. The threat Corypheus wields, the orb he carried, it is ours. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. We must find out how he survived, and we must prepare for their reaction when they learn the orb is of our people. All right. What is it, and how do you know about it? Such things were foci, said to channel power from our gods. Some were dedicated to specific members of our pantheon. All that remains are references in ruins, and faint visions of memory in the Fade, echoes of a dead empire. But however Corypheus came to it, the orb is elven, and with it, he threatens the heart of human faith. Didn't you see? The people trust me implicitly. Faith tends to make martyrs of its champions. Whatever the case, that trust cannot grow in the wilderness. You will need every advantage. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it, changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow, 